right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to draw pretty much absolutely anything that you could ever imagine in the whole world. Basic idea is you copy something and then you take what you learned through drawing that and then you put it into your own pieces. So this is just going to take you through my whole process of doing that and I hope this helps you on your art journey and learning how to draw things from the ground up. So enjoy. So the key to drawing anything, absolutely anything, is to go look at it. So if you want to draw like a landscape with, you know, a nice tree, maybe the ocean with a sunset, you have to know what that looks like. And the only way to do that is to look at things. And so we're just going to go look up a picture. Let's just type in sunset landscape. Let's try, let's just, yeah, let's try this one. This is pretty artsy, I think. So if you're working digitally, you can just right click and copy the image, paste it right into your, whatever your workplace is. But if you're working Physically, you know, all you have to do is really look at it. What we really need to do to get a good grasp on how to draw things is just copy it. Just copy it from real life exactly how it is. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a little bit of copying, but we're gonna do it in our own way. So, and what I'm gonna do is just kind of copy like a general sketch. While you're copying things, you can add your own little twist on it as well. You can make, you know, these mountains more edgy. You can make these clouds more in the background, but I'm just gonna go pretty close to home here. What I'm trying to focus on with this one is what happens to the sky's colors when it's a sunset? Because up here we have this sort of brownish, and then over here where it's actually, the sun is getting very red. It's a very dark red, almost blood. I wonder if maybe I just get a brown and then kind of blend it together from there. This is what you have to do. You have to figure out if you want to make a sunset, you know, you figure out like how, how does it blend all together? You'd have to experiment with it. I guess you could call this a study if you'd like an art study. At least that's what I think of uh, when I hear art study, you're just kind of studying how the world works and then putting it in art form. Number one tip to draw anything, just copy. Just be a blatant, blatant copier. Just copy as much as you can all the time, and eventually you'll be like, well, if you wanna <laughs> if you wanna go draw something yourself, you'll be like, well, this is how it looks when I copied it, so, you know, uh, I'm just gonna draw that. And I'm not saying, you know, go copy something and exactly and then pretend like it's your own. Like, look, I made this, you know, that that's really disrespectful. <laughs> I would not want that and it's could be deemed illegal. Go out there and copy stuff. Just trying to explore and try and figure out how it works. Art is like kind of one big experiment. You have to, it's, there's not, not really a science to it. So you always have to be experimenting with art. It's kind of the beauty of it. I always experiment with color values, um, going lighter and darker, either by a lot or by a little. It really helps, goes a very long way. And definitely another huge tip if you want to break into art, uh, study color theory or look into it because um, it's very important because all this stuff over here, this is where the science comes into art, if any. You know, adding and subtracting, I mean, this right here is all math. And physical art's a bit different, but I mean, you still kind of have to know where your colors are going to change to depending on what you add, what you take away, how to blend. It's very important. You study a little bit of color theory, maybe you learn some color wheel, how to make those combinations. All right, um, this is looking pretty good. Now I just think I wanna add those nice reflections there. I forgot how I'm gonna do this. Let's see, let's try a more yellow. See, this is where you need a reference. What does it look like in this? It's like a orange, it's like golden, it's beautiful. Oh, wow, look at that, that looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And add some extra highlights up here maybe. All right, yeah, I'm pretty good with this. I'm pretty proud of this. It's like a nice, you know, watery sunset. And you know, the level of the detail that you want to go, it's up to you. You can add some more stuff like this. All right, nice. I like this a lot. All right, so now we go back and forth. You know, not as spectacular as the original image, but you know, I didn't add the clouds and I really just want to see how that uh, sky work. Now I know that I need to add like some mid-tones with some extra orange. I want to blend those colors and then now I know you got some good uh, reflections on the water practice. Yeah, um, if you need to draw anything, just look it up. Take a, take a little picture of it and just draw it. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Two basic principles to drawing anything you want is first, draw it. So you need to start drawing. In order to get good at drawing, you need to look at things and how they actually exist so that when you have that sort of data set for yourself, you can take that, what you've drawn from real life, and then put it into your own things, whether it be fiction, other real life drawings, whatever you want. You need to know how the world works, you need to experiment with your own style so that you can figure out how you're going to make something, no matter what it is. So in the long run, um, no matter what stage of art you're doing, this is very good to do at the beginning, but even if you're going on to more advanced things, there's always a little 
extra thing you can learn about rendering or lighting or shadow or perspective. So always keep experimenting and I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.